wait. They are to wait for them. They are wait to wait for the full number to and the end of tribulation for that revenge to take place. Now the question that I want to ask who will souls be saved in the tribulation? Will souls be saved in the tribulation? Now, I remember when I first started this set of studies, I was a little skeptical about the tribulation. And sometimes I thought that maybe if you don't make it in the rapture, you won't make it through the tribulation. But I want to believe, and I was fully persuaded now, that there are souls going to be saved during the tribulation. Now, what will happen to, that, to those souls that are saved? I want you to look. They were martyred for the word of God and for being faithful to Christ. They did not take the mark of the beast and they testified about Jesus, and because of that, they were killed or martyred in the tribulation period. Hallelujah. For the word of God and for the testimony of what they have. For this very reason, John the Apostle was upon the Isles of Patmos, for the word of God and for the word of his testimony. So we find that people are killed, people are persecuted because of the word of God, because of what you preach, because of the, your testimony, you are persecuted. And right now, I feel there's somebody you are going through a rough time because of the word of God, because of your testimony, because you accept Christ as your Savior and as your Lord, and you are going through some rough moments. I want you to be faithful. Be faithful like what Jesus told these disciples, these Christians what the, that were martyr, these Christians that were martyr, be faithful, be faithful. Yes, hallelujah. The thing is, they cry, how long? How long? How long will we go through this? How long will we stay in this state? I want you to note that they were souls. Say souls. Souls. They were without a body. If you notice in my first opening remark, I say all those who were in heaven were reunited, were reunited with their bodies. But these souls that were under the altar, they did not have a body. All the Christians that are raptured and make it to heaven, they have their body. The dead in Christ, 
and those who live for Jesus Christ, all are reunited with their body. But they have not a body. And we will show that in a while. Hallelujah. They were given white robes. I want you to note also, they were not given gong. They were martyrs. They were given robes. I want you to note also that in the tribulation, if you do not make it into the rapture and you have to go through the tribulation, one of the ways to go to heaven is by death. And most people who make it into heaven in the tribulation would be by death or you die of natural cause. But if you are living in the tribulation, you have to take the mark of the beast. And if you take the mark of the beast, you can make it into heaven. You will be sold over to Satan and his angels. And so death is about the only way to make it into heaven. So they were crying out, crying out to God, revenge us, revenge us. How long will we be here? But the thing is, seven years is the tribulation period. So for seven years, would souls be crying out at the altar, under the altar, before they are reunited with their body. Hallelujah. They were actively involved on the earth. I want you to note, during the tribulation, they were actively involved for God. It is at that time you become serious. If you know you did not make it into the rapture, you got to be serious with God. Then, hallelujah, you got to be serious. There's only one way. Death. And so they share the word of God. They tell people, but because of what they did. They shared the word. They were put to death. They were martyred. Their lives were at stake. There was a, a risk factor for the Antichrist. They were a risk factor. And so because of what they have done, they were put to death. Hallelujah. Now, they are put to death. They die. They die a martyr's death. What happened to their body? Their body remained here on earth, but their soul have gone into heaven. And this is during the tribulation. This is the time when the dead in Christ have risen, when the saints have been caught up to the Lord up in heaven. Hallelujah. Now, when would their souls be, re be reunited with their body? To make it through the tribulation, it's hard. It's tough. But you got to make up your mind. You're going to live for Jesus and you're going to suffer death. Hallelujah. Would their souls be united? Let us look what happened to the saints of God during the rapture. 
哈利路亚。In First Thessalonians, chapter four, verse thirteen. And now, dear brothers and sisters, we want you to know what will happen to believers who have died. We want you to know what will happen to believers. Who have died, so you will not grieve like people who have no hope. So that is the time in which we are living. This is before the rapture takes place. What will happen to those who die in the Lord? Hallelujah. For since we believe that Jesus died and was raised to life again, we also believe that when Jesus returns, God will bring with bring back with Him the believers who have died. So. What will happen in the rapture? The saints that die, who are now in heaven, your brother, your father, your mother, that die and have gone to heaven, they are a soul, and they don't have a body, but they have a spiritual body, but they. Need to have their body, so what will happen to them when Jesus returns? Listen to the word: when Jesus returns, God will bring back with Him the believers who have died. So you, those who have gone to heaven. Jesus is bringing them back. So the, look at look at the rapture. The rapture is Jesus coming, and the saints who die are coming back. Praise the Lord. For this we say, verse fifteen. For this we say to you. By the word of the Lord, that we who are still living at the coming of the Lord will not go before those who are sleeping or those who are dead. So why is Jesus bringing back the saints who die? Why is he bringing back the saints who died, just like he left paradise above, but now he's bring back all those who serve him and die? Hallelujah! For the Lord Himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout. With the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, first the Christian who have died will raise from their graves. Why Jesus are bringing back saints who die, for them to have their body again, for them to reclaim their body. Again, the body decay, but God going to glorify that body, and He's going to bring them back on earth to recapture the body as souls. Hallelujah! So there would not be souls 
without the body, they will be sold with the body. Hallelujah. 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 So God is bringing back the saints to recapture, to be reunited with their body again. And their first will be raised in the rapture. Hallelujah. Then, then, was something, then together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet him in the air. Then will we, then we will be with the Lord forever. So it is not until the dead saints who are in heaven reunited with their body, we who are alive will be caught up together with them. So I want you to note what's going to happen. So if you miss grandfather, if you miss a grandmother, if you miss a brother, if you miss a sister, at the rapture, there is a reunion. But I want you to note that the Lord is not coming down upon earth. The Lord is not coming down upon earth. He will meet. He will meet all the saints at in the air, in the air. So I want you to look at this diagram a little. In the Old Testament, we had Hades and Paradis together, but now it is lifted. It is what lifted and gone into heaven. So in heaven, you will find paradise, you find the new Jerusalem, and you find the throne room. So if you go to heaven, you could be in paradise, you will see paradise, you will see the throne room, you will see the new Jerusalem. So I'm, get, I'm getting this information from saints who went to heaven and came back. Saints who went to heaven and came back. I'm talking about their experience. They say they saw new paradise, the new paradise, the new Jerusalem, and they saw the true room. They say that paradise is like country in heaven. Nice country life. Mountains, snow, all kind of uh, rivers and horses and animals and beautiful things are there in paradise. They say also there is a throne room that's so big, so many miles, big, hundreds of miles, square miles. And they say there is a new Jerusalem, a new city, that's been built for us up there. So I want you to know that when you die, you go to paradise, but you come back for your body. If you do not, and you make it in the rapture alive, you will wait until the dead sins are reunited with their body, and then we will be caught up. So you got to be prepared for that. Hallelujah. Who, all who die in Jesus will be brought back to heaven to be resurrected with their bodies. The living in Christ at this time 
will not die, but will be changed. So those who are still alive, your bodies will be changed. Your bodies would be changed. You would not still have this body that can die, but your bodies will be changed to a never dying body. Your body will be changed to a glorified body. Your body will take on immortality. Hallelujah. 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 This, this, this is the coming of the Lord in the air, not his coming on the earth. So note that, that in the rapture, it is in the air, but not on the earth. You go to meet the Lord in the air, in the clouds, not on the earth. It is not until the second coming, after the tribulation, Jesus is going to come back and his foot, his foot will touch the earth on Mount Olive. Hallelujah. 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 So now let's look what will happen to those souls that are crying out. So the fifth seal is about souls dying in the tribulation. They are just souls. When will they be, re re be reunited with their body? When will these souls Get back a body again. They are under the altar. They are under the altar. Crying out. Please Lord. Avenge us. Be av avenge us. Against this people of earth. So. To find. Find out more about that. Let's turn to the book of Revelation, chapter 20. For we read about five verses, verse from verse 1. Hallelujah. Then I saw an angel come down from heaven with the key of the bottomless pit and a heavy chain in his hand. So he had a key and he had a heavy chain in his hand. He seized the dragon, that old serpent, who is the devil, Satan, so the angel came down and grabbed a hold of, of Satan. I want you to know this is at the end, at the end of the tribulation period. At the end of the tribulation period. At the end of the seven years. This has taken place. And bound him in chains for a thousand years. So Satan is bound in chains in the bottomless pit for a thousand years. The angel threw him into the bottomless pit, which he then shot and locked so Satan could not deceive the nations anymore until a thousand years were finished. Afterward, he must be released a little while. 
So after the thousand years, he going to be released. But we not get into that point now. Let's see what happened in the other words. Then I saw thrones, and the people sitting on them had been given the authority to judge. So on these thrones were people sitting, judging people. Who, 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 tell? who could tell that could be you? And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their testimony about Christ, about Jesus, for the proclaiming the word of God. So along with the throne, he now saw those who died. The souls that were crying out, Lord, how long? How long will we be here? He saw those souls again. They had not, they had not worshipped the beast or his statue, nor accept his mark on their forehead or their hands. So these were the saints under the altar. These were the ones under the altar that did not take the mark of the beast, that were beheaded for the testimony. These were the people. They all came to life again, and they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. So at the end of the tribulation, when the devil is chained for a thousand years, these sins who die in the tribulation will be reunited with their body. They will be reunited with their body. Bible says a day all came to life. They all came to life again and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. So, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the first resurrection. The rest of the dead did not come back to life until a thousand years had ended which will be the second resurrection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this and this, this is the last stage or the last event to the first resurrection where the dead in Christ uh, during the tribulation, those who suffer death will be reunited with their bodies again. Hallelujah. They will come to life again and they will reign for a thousand years with Jesus. And the Bible says this is the first resurrection. So if you die, how would you like to die? Would you like to die before the rapture? Would you like to be alive during the rapture and serving the Lord and make it to heaven? Or you, would you like to miss the rapture and die in the tribulation and cry now? during that time. Think about it. Think about it. This proves 1,000 years between the first and the second resurrections. 
the resurrection of the righteous and the resurrection of the wicked. The first resurrection is of the saints. The second resurrection it would be for the unrighteous. And we will talk more about that later. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So today, we will close the now, leaving that at the, leaving at the point where we see the sins of people that die in the tribulation. For Christ will come to life again. So if you do not make it in the rapture, there is still hope. Souls will be saved. You know, there are many of us at times we preach that if you make, you don't make in the rapture, you are doomed. But there is still hope. But do you want to go through the tribulation? No, you don't want to go through that moment or time because it is a rough time. So, Make it right with the Lord now. When we come back next time on the 7th of September, we continue to the sixth seal where the, we will see a great earthquake taking place upon earth. We will see the earth moving from its axis and the then instead of being tilt 23 degrees, it might be tilt to 66 degrees. We will look at the earth going through changes and all sort of changes taking place with that great crisis coming upon earth. You don't want to be in the tribulation period. Hallelujah. The Bible say, the Bible say that who will survive? Who will survive? Who can go through all of this? You may not be able to make it through. You may give up. You may be tempted to take the mark of the beast and you go to hell. So live for Christ and live right. And live holy. And during this break period, I wish you all the best. And who could tell? Jesus may come before we meet again. So God bless you. Great God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word. And we pray that tonight you will bless everybody. The anointing will rest upon all people that are listening. You will speak to hearts and you will speak to us. Speak to us, O oh God. Speak to us. There are many that are not living the way they should live. There are many that are doing wrong things. There are many in the church today that are not living the way Jesus wants us to live. There are many that are immoral. But I say to you today, live for Jesus. Or you may not make it to heaven. Live holy and a righteous life. Jesus is coming back for a glorious church. A church 
that is without spot or without wrinkle. Not a rebellious people. So I say, get your life right and live holy unto the Lord. God bless you. Rave God. Hallelujah.